Hola guys, welcome to my channel. Well, this isn't really the video I had in mind to upload next, but I'm getting sidetracked. Um, well, this video is more about Plex Media Server uh, to utilize your integrated graphics card. So, how I came across to thinking about uploading this video was while I was watching a movie or a show, I think. Uh, for some reason, I decided to check on Task Manager and check on my, you know, the utilization of my components here. And uh, wh what I noticed was uh, what's being utilized in my graphics card was the 6600 XT and not the integrated graphics one. So for a media server, that's not a really good idea because it won't be power efficient. So this video I'll be showing you how to uh, transfer the transcoding stuff onto your integrated graphics card. So this video is actually helpful for those people who have integrated graphics like if you have an AMD processor, an APU, that's what it's called, and for Intel, an iGPU. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but if you don't have an integrated graphics on board or into your CPU, integrated into your CPU, uh, this video won't really be any help for you. Or if you have an integrated graphics card but you have a lot, a lot of users uh, using Plex, uh, you know, utilizing the server. Um, um, having a dedicated graphics card won't really be a bad idea. Anyway, uh, again, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, so first, I want to show you guys. Um, right now, I'd be playing a video and show you which graphics processor it's utilizing, right? Uh, so, so right now, I'm playing a video and it's being transcoded here uh, as you guys can see here in the dashboard off of my Plex uh, transcode hardware. It means it's using the graphics card. If there's no HW there, it means that it's your CPU that's being utilized, right? Uh, anyway, if you guys could see here on here, uh, my sister's my 6600 XT is at 30% uh, doing the transcoding. So there you go. And I, I just stopped the video. There you go. So how to transfer it into your iGPU is, uh, if you guys could browse here, uh, let me close this window first. I changed my mind. Uh, if you guys could, would uh, click on the start button there and search in for graphics settings here it'll give you this window here and it'll list a bunch of uh, programs there that you know uh, like for example this one here Valorant right um, it'll give you an option which option would you want to choose power saving is you'd be using the iGPU and high performance is you'd be using your graphics card right so I'd be using my graphics card for this game there and save that one uh, most probably if you're in a similar situation you won't have flex here in the options so what you want to click on next is browse and you open up this window here. If you installed your Plex Media Server the way I, I the way I did, where you just keep on clicking clicking on next, most probably it'd be on the folder under Program Files and Plex Server, and then Plex Media Server. If you installed it into a, another folder, you'd know where to find it. Um, uh, I, I tried searching in Google um, how to do this as well and most of them said you'd have to choose on Plex Media Server which 
isn't really the case guys what you want to choose here is flex transcoder here so choose flex transcoder hit add now it, it, it uh, it'll come up here in the options click on options after and choose power savings or choose the uh, integrated graphics right and click on save and next what you want to do is close this one here exit your plex and then relaunch it now it's open There you go, so loading. I'm back into my dashboard. Now, I'd be playing another video. And let's see which graphics card it'll utilize. Um, spoiler alert, it'll be the iGPU. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Uh, let me just choose the quality and convert it down to 240p, right? Give me a second. Alright. So there you go. It's transcoding and it's using my CPU. That shouldn't happen. Something's off here. You know what? I think Google had it right. I tried doing this earlier. I'm not sure why. Um, so, so I kind of got <laughs> got embarrassed there for a second. Let me close this from my iPad. So let's try adding the Flex Media Server as well, right? Uh, Flex Media Server options. Let's choose the iGPU there as well. So, I'm sorry, that was a bit fast. Let's move it once again. So, I click on Browse. And earlier, we chose Flex Transcoder and Flex Media Server this time, right? So, there it is. Options. Let's use Integrated Graphics. Save. And then, let's exit this again. Relaunch it. Open it. Go to my dashboard and play another video. Let's see if it if it will work this time. There won't be any spoilers. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Let's see if this one works. All right, I just opened the video. I'm going to my playback settings. Um, choosing to convert it down to. Hardware transcode. Ta da! Alright, guys, I'm sorry. So, Google had it half right. Uh, Google only said Flex Media Server. But it won't work unless you have Transcoder as well. So, there you have it. That's how you do it. Uh, again, guys, just to sum it up, uh, go to graphic settings, click on browse, go to Go to your Flex Media Server, choose Flex Media Server and Flex Transcoder. And uh, once they're added, uh, click on Options, choose your iGPU, and it should utilize your iGPU. This is more power efficient. That way, if you're not using your computer for gaming or whatever, um, when your computer's, uh, you know, technically idle and the only thing it's doing is flex and mass stuff. Uh, it, it would be uh, utilizing your IGP, and yeah, it, your, uh, it'll be more power efficient that way. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope I hope I'd be able to, or I'm able to help someone out. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Rather, I'm getting tongue tied. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, see you in the next one.